Hi, thank you very much, Dimitri Rubina. It's now the end of the Berlin Freedom of Expression Conference, held at the ICD, the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy in Berlin. Tell me, what are your thoughts on the conference? What did you think? Well, as somebody said a few minutes ago, it's a lot of food for thought. And uh, right now, I'm amazed. Why are you amazed? Um, is that good it, amazed it, or it, bad it amazed? It exceeded my expectations, of course. Um, also, the high level of the participants, uh, not only the speakers, but also the, the audience. Mm -hmm. um, it was very interactive. It was um, learning, you know. And uh, I, I think, you know, even though I know a lot about human rights, what I've heard here, was a kind of um, confirmation, but also hope that there are other people, you know, other like-minded people that care about each other. Okay, so you started your career at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that you were a lone wolf crying in the wilderness for human rights? Yes. I did, I did, many times, many times, even though I always thought I was very privileged because I was a good student, mm -hmm. uh, otherwise at the age of 13 I could not be uh, giving interviews to newspapers and everything. And it's all because I like to write and I like to express myself and I have been educated at home mm -hmm. to believe in, in, in human rights, to believe in freedom of expression mm -hmm. and to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you are honest with yourself and if you have a cause and you go for it, you know, this, this can take you everywhere and you are never afraid. Never afraid. Um, we've had some interesting debates, we've had some interesting lectures. Josh Wolf gave a very interesting lecture about being incarcerated in America. The freedom of the press now gives everybody the right to be a reporter, gives the right to, for everybody to be a journalist through Twitter and the social networks. Do you think that has hindered human rights or has been some kind of advantage? I think it's a great advantage and um, this distinction of uh, who is a journalist or who has the right to speak up, who, is, who has the right to publish the news, it's an old-fashioned concept mm -hmm. because we live in the in the internet age and uh, everyone even a child can become a publisher can become a broadcaster and, and that's very important you know I think in, in in 10 years or perhaps less than that we have experienced so much freedom and that's why some governmental and politicians they are thinking about to stop it because we had too much freedom. If you could take something away from this interview, n not only from this interview, but from this conference, what would it be? First of all, the opportunity to be here and to, to meet like-minded people and to hopefully have got my message across to invite people to visit the European community of journalism, to be part of human rights in the media, and do something, not expect that politicians are going to do for us, because uh, human rights are made by humans, for humans. And Kofi Annan once said, people never complain about human rights. There has been only governments that have complained against human rights. So we are the people and we make human rights. Okay, whilst I respect Kofi Annan greatly, I don't totally agree with what that statement. It's us. Yeah who are of standing course, up, yeah. we want to stand up, and the government assists and helps us to stand up. So I hope you can go away from this conference satisfied. I hope you can go away from this conference informed. I hope that you can go away from this conference even a greater stalwart for human rights. Thank you for giving Thank me you. your time. Thank you for your opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.